<laughs> I don't know what that was all about, but you know what? I was focused. Wasn't discouraged. Wasn't disappointed. We just came on back. It did everything that it wanted to do, but that's okay. If you're still out there, come on back in because we was talking about we got to focus. We got to focus on our finances, family, on our future, on our businesses, and on ourselves. You have to focus. So I'm going to give you a few minutes to come back on to see if you come back on and we'll go from there. That seemed like that was like an eternity, an eternity to try to get back on here. Come on in. Come on in. This is part two. Come on in. Come on in. Come on in. I'm excited. I made it my business to get back on here, right? Focus. Where are you blurry in your focus? What's blurry in your life? What's blurry in your bank account? We must be focused because in the end, that's the only thing that is going to matter. We cannot be so distracted by every little passing thing, every little offer, every conversation, everything sound good. Have you ever been in a situation where everything that somebody said, oh, that sound good. It's not about sounding good. Is it good? <laughs> Does it mean any good? Is it going to? Are, are the things that you're doing, are they going to take you to the next level? It's time for next level living. Come on in. Um, if you're, if you're new to me and this is the second part to the first video, because I don't know, technical difficulties, they just happen. But anyway, this is your girl coach, O, founder and CEO of Action Speaks Volume Incorporated. I am known as your procrastination strategist, behavior change expert, and I help you to build unshakable confidence. Stop procrastinating and you got to get your dreams out of your head into your life. So come on back in, invite, share. Let me know where you're tuning in from. Let me know that you came back. Y'all on here all behind these screens and this, out here in these social media streets acting all quiet and stuff. You're not shy. Let me know that you came back. Let me know that you're here, you know, and let's do it. Let's, let's keep on moving. I want you this year, you know, um, following 2020 and 2020 is not over 2020, 2021 today. Um, is a continuation of last year. I'm back. Yes. <laughs> so good to see you. Um, it's just a continuation, but we want the continuation of 2021 from 2020 to be better. We want, you know, now we got to get that other side. You know, we talk about the law of polarity that there's always an equal opposite. We got the bad side of 2020. Now 2021 got to be the good side. So we, it's all, it all exists at the same time in the same place. Time for us to get some of it, right? It's time for us to get some of it. So I want you to really be focused on what you need to be focused on. Good evening, Jennifer. Thank you so much for joining Carrierville, Tennessee in the house. Thank you so much for joining. Let me put my, look, let me put my locale on here. I'm, um, Arkansas is in the house. <laughs> I want you to really get tuned in. Um, and focus on the things that's important to you. Because if we're busy doing things that really don't bring us joy, happiness, peace, and in the end, there is really no, um, there is no outcome of satisfaction. We have to ask ourselves, why are we doing it? Why am, why am I doing this thing that does not bring me pleasure? Why are you doing it? Why are, it said unable to post a comment, what? I don't know, child. It ain't let me post my location. I don't know what it got going on. But anyway, you have to ask yourself, you know, why is it that I roll out of bed, jump out of bed, get out of bed? Why is it that I get up every morning? And if it's a thing that I'm getting up to do that I dread doing it, there's some things that need to be changing. Why is it that we would take a whole lifetime to do things that we don't like? 
to do to do to be around people that don't like us and trying to impress people that don't matter. <laughs> it's not letting me post my comment. Why? Anyway, um, so we have to really think about that. Um, the reason for our getting up, it should be exciting to us. It should be something that we look forward to. And you know, for me, I even look for, I look forward to going to bed. For Coach O in the house, Arkansas. Thank you so much. I don't know. And he's like, I don't know what it's doing. It's it putting my circuit in. It's putting my stuff in red like it's wrong or something. What's going on with that? That's okay. Thank you so much. Empowering 8 in the house. Representing Coach O, Arkansas. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. But we really have to think about the things that we get up and do with the time that we have. And ask ourselves a legitimate question as to why. You know what? I just, you know, something just hit me so crazy. I don't even know why. In the middle of me talking, I was just thinking about, I had a salad today. And this is going to sound a little weird and crazy for some people. But I had a salad today. And I'm going to go back to my topic. But this just hit my mind. So it must be a reason for me sharing it. (laughs) I had a salad today, right? And usually... And I had just bought the lettuce, so it came out of the refrigerator at the store, right? Usually, I put my um, salad in the microwave because I don't like cold stuff. I don't like cold nothing. I don't like cold fruit. I don't like cold tuna fish. I don't like cold nothing. So I usually put my salad in the microwave. I'm talking about cheese, tomatoes, all of it. I put it in the microwave. (laughs) I didn't do that today. I just thought about that. I'm growing up. I'm growing up. And I guess I didn't even think about it until just now. Wow. I'm going to have to put that uh, note to self. I didn't put my salad in the microwave today. And I had tomatoes. I had strawberries. I had avocado. I had black olives, cheese. Mm, It was good too. But anyway, back to what I was saying. Focus. See how we get distracted? (laughs) How something so crazy can pop up in your mind? That was just a prime example of how we can get distracted when we're doing what we're doing, going where we're going, trying to do what we're trying to do, trying to be who we're trying to be, that we would get distracted. But the thing about it, I'm back on track. A lot of people don't get on track. And it take them a long, or it take them a long time to get back on track. I, Snap right back in it and got back on track. But anyway, on a serious note, that was serious, but on a more serious note, I want you to really focus on, you know, why is it that you get up? And when you know why you're doing what you're doing, it gives you energy to want to do that more. You want to do it so much more. When you have a reason behind what you're doing, it makes you want to do it. And you think about, I think about, You know, a lot of the things that I do, I don't think about it as being dreadful. And I don't think about it as being heavy and and something that is a hindrance. I think about that it's an opportunity and I get to do it. It's a privilege. I see we, I have some of my entrepreneur sisters on here. They do all different sorts of types of things, you know, you know, but when you think about, we get to serve people. We get to help people. We get to, you know, uh, Belinda on here. Shout out to Belinda. Um, she does all. She do all type of things, and the things that she does, inspirational. She get to speak life through the work that she does with her inspirational cards and with the messages that she she share on her t shirts and the other products that she share. She get. To be an inspiration in other people's lives. That's an inspiration for getting up. To say that this message here, this message of walking by faith, this message of being blessed, this message here, this message is going to bring life to somebody. This message is going to bring light to somebody's dark place. This inspirational message divinely downloaded by God 
is a total life changing message for somebody on today. When you have a thing like that, that snatch you up, not just by your head, but by your heart, you like, man, I get to get up to share a compelling. I get to get up to share a loving, inspiration, inspir inspiring, motivating word with somebody. When I come over here, I get to speak to you. And I absolutely love it. I don't, I don't think like, oh man, I got to get on there. When I get inboxes, and if I don't get nothing, but when I do get an inbox to say, man, you don't know how much you helped me. Keep doing what you're doing. You didn't even know you was helping me. Keep doing what you're doing. When you get those type of messages and think about you get to, you have the privilege and the honor of doing that thing. My girl Jennifer on here, drink to shrink, right? You know, getting your fine back, getting your summertime back, getting your two-piece back, getting your babe body back. When you get that back, you get to get years back. Do you know how much better you feel when you're able to drop 5, 10, 15, 20, 30 pounds? Baby, you get your groove back. You want to do things you hadn't done in a long time. Stuff you hadn't felt like doing that you can get up and do. You got to think about it's an opportunity. It's a privilege and it's an honor that I get to do this thing. I get to do this thing. And with me being able to get to do it and I see how it is impacting the world, the lives that I have been assigned to, I want to do it. I want to do it. I want to do it. Let me know. Come on. If y'all on here, say something. Y'all all quiet.